Okay. So, Darren, do you know how many actions you want to take right now? Um, I want to charge the um, big thing, which I come with the name of. The... that one. Okay. This one. Um, I'm also going to take three shots. One of those is free in the Okay. So you want to do t- so you want to do a move and a single action. Is that right? Um, I want to make three shots total. Three shots. So it'll be a move and three sh- and three actions, um, right? One of those is free due to an ability. Um, over okay. Here. So. Okay. Aya, do you know how many actions you're taking? Just doing one, and that is uh, initiating my my cloak. Okay. Crystal, do you know how many actions you're taking this round? Uh, four reaction means I cannot do anything else, including me, right? I believe so. So, full reaction really is just like a natural barrier. Yeah, I think that adds to your defense, or something to that effect. You're taking a full round to not to basically take a full defense. Oh, And yeah. then Lund, are you taking any actions beyond one? Um, no, I'll probably keep to one. Okay, so now we're gonna start with. So what the way this works now is we start with Darren. He's gonna do one action right now, and then we'll go through everybody in the list. Then we'll go back to Darren again, and he'll do his second action, plus his free action at some point. So, uh, so it's weird how this works, but I'm trying to see if how how the official rules handle. Then, um, then what would be considered a round? A round is when you've gone through all of the actions that you said you were going to take. Okay. So okay, so Darren runs yeah. over. Mm-hmm. Right up to its face. Yep, yeah. and I'm going to shoot it in the face. You're going to so shoot it point hope. blank. Yep. Okay. Um... Holy banana. Oh my gosh, Darren. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> well, we wow. Got... Well. That is amazing, Darren. You definitely hit. Yeah. I think you're gonna have to give a visual of what actually happens when you fire, when you go up to it and fire at it. Well, that's not that. Give us a cinematic visual of what you're doing. Uh... And when you're done, roll a damage. Yeah. Uh, okay. So basically, he charges forward, um, has his assault rifle in hand. Um, mm-hmm. Basically, sticks his gun um, underneath the creature's head and just pulls the trigger. Okay. Where are you aiming at specifically? Uh, the head. You're aiming at the head, okay. Yeah, I figured I'm like that close one as well. Um, Roll for damage. Yeah. Eighteen damage. Very nice. Okay. You fire into its head. It roars at you as you fire straight through its mouth and you see it, you see a squirt of darkish, greenish blood squirt out from the back of his neck as you fire pretty much straight through his mouth and out his neck. Um, Blood starts oozing down, down his neck. Uh, The Varen again tries, uh, he tries to bite you. Okay. What is your defense value? For which one? Me I don't know if you have. I don't know if you have a brawling defense. Do you have a brawling or melee defense? Um, melee is higher. Um, okay. My melee defense value is twenty. Okay. I think he's actually using brawl. So technically, I'm supposed to be using your brawling defense. Okay, that's eleven then. Okay. A lot lower. He does hit, and what he's going to do now is do damage. He does 16 damage. So take your damage reduction. I believe you have damage reduction, right? Yeah, at the moment I have 16 damage reduction due to charging. Your, your damage is 16? Yeah. Okay. So you take none of that, you, you absorb all the damage. Does that take deplete any of your kinetic barrier? Um, not that I'm aware of, I just got 10 as my standard damage resistance, and then I get a plus 6 okay. from charging. 
Okay, so then your kinetic barrier does not deplete. Okay. All right, that was the Baron. Aya, you're next. Yes. Let's see, I'll roll to initiate my cloak. Okay. And it fails! Oh, no, it doesn't. 26, it's, right? It's uh, against the... Uh, if I read the rules, it's against a uh, 30. Oh, okay. okay. And it gets heroic. Damn, I even have plus 18. <laughs> That's too bad. Yeah. Alright, you attempt to activate it, but I guess it's been a while since you've been out on the field that you're a little rusty with uh, with activating even your cloaking system. So it whirs, but it uh, but it doesn't activate this room. It's Niha's faulty shit that she didn't fix. <laughs> yeah, what has she been doing this entire time while watching movies, apparently? Dr. Chen. You're up. Are you doing anything, Dr. Shen? A survival skill will not help me with uh, finding knowledge of what to do in this environment. Uh, you can make a survival skill. Mm, that's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough for you to learn anything. And that's the, but I w all I can do, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Lun, you're next. Um, I'm gonna use warp on the this one. Okay. To lower its defense, so that's me rolling. Um, warp. The warp is a badge talent that lowers the armor as a target and increases the damage it sustains. Roll the Arctic attribute and warp against target's defense. Um. Okay, so I'm sorry. I have to roll. I have to do. do you have to. Do I have to roll something, or you have to beat a defense? Um, I've got to roll it against the target's defense. Okay. You attempt to cast a warp on the Varen, and with a 14, unfortunately, the Varen manages to dodge out of the way of your warp. Okay. okay. Look kind of curses under his breath. Okay. And the Pie Jacks are next. Um, this Pie Jack moves, scurries down the tree that it's in, it just kind of hops off. Effortlessly, in fact. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Darren's right there, so he's just gonna stop right there. Um, a third pie jack emerges. A third uh, reaperized pie jack appears, and he makes his way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. This pie jack will try to attack uh, Lun because it seems like Lun's the one that's most threatening of the two, and this one will attack Darren. So these are both brawls. So this is against your brawling defense. If you don't have a brawling defense, then it's against your melee defense. Uh. This is not good. <laughs> um, so, what is your brawling defense, uh, Darren? Eleven. Eleven? My melee is That'll 20, though, so... That'll be a hit. And for Lun, what is your brawling defense? Three! <laughs> okay. Twenty-one points of damage towards Darren. Okay. Is your defense still? Is your damage reduction still 16? And that's the entire round. Although I did just check that counts as an action, so for future reference. Okay. Um, so, so it's still 16, it? right? Uh, 21 total. So I think okay. it does. It basically does another five damage. However, your kinetic kinetic barrier kicks in, um, and you take. So you can deplete how, five from your kinetic barrier. I don't know how much is your kinetic barrier right now. Uh. It looks like nine, I think, the last time I looked at your character sheet. Yeah, nine. Okay, so now you're down to four. So the way kinetic barriers work is that um, you need to survive two rounds of no damage before it regenerates three. So if you don't take two rounds of damage at all, you'll, you'll replenish back to three. Otherwise, it stays where it is, and when your kinetic barrier goes down, then you start losing hit points. Okay. 
So Darren's tanking pretty decently right now. Lun, you take 17 points of damage. What is your damage reduction? One. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna take 16 points of damage unless you have a kinetic barrier on your on your armor. Okay. No, I don't. 16 think points of damage. That's gonna hurt. If you click on your hit, if you click on your um, icon, you can fill in your hit points. You can fill in your current hit points in one of like the dots. Like I usually put it in the in the green. The green dots are hit points. Okay, so. So. I took how many? If, I took how many damage again? Total sixteen because your damage reduction is only one. Total sixteen. So it might be nice that Darren's tanking this larger thing right now. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Well, you guys might. All right. While uh, while Lun is determining her hit points. There you go. Seven. We're gonna go back. Seven is what you have left. Yes. Okay. Don't put Seven me hit in points is what Lun has left. <laughs> I am so not melee rage. Okay. Um. So this is my second shot. Then I get my free one spot. Should I just take that at the same time? Since I'm the only one taking multiple actions. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, this one's free, so... Those will all hit. Roll for damage. Okay. Yeah. So, 13 with the first hit. And 11 with the second hit. It seems that the, uh... Creature seems to have absorbed most of your first attack, and it seems to have absorbed all of your attack. All of the damage of your second attack. Okay. With overkill. Okay. So now we're back to the beginning of the round again. Darren, how many actions do you want to take? Um, I will take... Not including two. your bonus action. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll take two shots with a bonus again. Two shots with a bonus on top. Aya, how many actions do you want to take this round? Now that your fellow um, yeah. uh, Thorin's being mauled. I'm uh, I wondered it does using my assassination count as a uh, as an action besides the shot I used it on I'll say no I'm gonna say no that doesn't count yeah. that'll be like a free action good then I'll do that okay and shoot something who are you going to shoot um let me just figure out how do you figure out what I think range movement, you have. And, and I believe movement is um, flexible. Yeah. So that, by that I mean you can divide out how much you move throughout the course of the round. So if you have a movement of 10, you want to do 3, take an action, and then move, you're, I'll allow you to do that. Yeah. Um, how, lo how far is each square? Like how... I think each square is a meter. A meter? Oh, well then I can easily do this. Okay, I'll just uh, I'll shoot the... Uh, I think I'll assassinate that one. Okay. And then I'll move... Go ahead. Roll, uh, I guess this is against the defense value, the creature's defense value. Yeah, it's range defense value, but no, it, 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 it ignores armor. So let's just... it will be a... If I remember right, yeah. that'll hit. That'll hit, and then damage. That's it. That's. Twenty-five. Wow. And it and it ignores armor because of assassination. Oh, it ignores armor. Okay. Yes. You actually do some serious damage to the pie jack. It's not quite dead, but it's like very close to it looks very close to death. It's serious damage. Oh I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I went ahead. I was just asking Aya how many actions she wanted to take, but Darren was supposed to take an action before that. Hopefully what you just did doesn't change what Darren would do. So no. I'm sorry. Crystal, how many actions would are you planning on taking this round? Actions. Two actions. And then Lun, how many are you planning to take this round? Two actions. Two actions. Okay. So Darren, you're taking how many? You said two? Uh, two we'll in my free shot. We'll start with you, then we'll resolve my action with the Varen, and then we'll we'll say that at, after that Aya makes the shot. So Darren, go ahead and do what you were going to do before Aya made her shot. 
Okay. And that's with the minus three penalty, correct? Yeah. 23, that'll hit. Roll for damage. Okay. Nineteen damage. Okay. Very nice. It absorbs a lot of that damage, but it's still kicking, but you're definitely denting it. The uh Varen is going to try to attack you again. Your let's see. That's going to hit. He does. Twelve points of damage to you, which you just okay. absorbed. Think. Uh, no, because it's gone down because the round ended, so um, my damage reduction is down to 10. Okay, so you take 2 damage, but I think your kinetic barrier is still there. So yeah. your kinetic barrier goes down. And since you took damage, your, your kinetic barrier is not going to regenerate yet. Then Aya makes her shot. Then uh, Dr. Chen goes. You don't have to call me Dr. Chen. Sorry, Crystal Chen goes. Okay. I just... Yeah. Dr. Chen! Yes. Dr. Go ahead. Uh, first, tackle, but using the brawling skill. Yep. yep. So, just tackle this closest... Uh, yep. What so do you call them? make the pie jacks. They're called pie jacks. They're like monkeys, kind of. But they're mutated monkeys. And it's clear that they are kind of uh, carrying Reaper technology, right? Yes. Yes, they've been Reaperized, like husks. Um... The for tackling. Do you have the rules for tackling? Oh, no, I don't think there is tackle, but just brawling. Oh, brawling. Okay. You attempt to try to brawl the creature, um, but the monkeys. I mean, is is so fast. It's able to dodge out of the way from that action. Um, Lun. Wait, second yeah. action. Yeah, that'll come next. Oh, okay. So everybody does their first action, and then everybody does their second action, and you just keep going. No, he's gonna put a shield on himself. Okay. Um. So. Does that require a roll? Yeah, I'm seeing it now. So it's with a minus three. Yeah. So minus three. It does not like me today. Ugh. Wait, you rolled a six on your wild die, so you get to roll the six again. So roll another d6 and add the value until you don't roll a six anymore. So add another. So it's a so that's ten. Ten. Is that enough or is that not enough? Um, let me have a look. Um, it doesn't actually. Oh, it has to be above fourteen. Okay. Okay. So the shield did not activate. It, it's, it's been several years underground, I'm rusty. <laughs> the Pie Jack attempts to attack this time because because uh, Chen tried to tackle it, it's going to try to attack Crystal Chen. Uh, Crystal, what is your brawling defense if you have one? 11. He will hit. Dr. Chen, you will take 18 points of damage. I don't know if you have armor or damage reduction. Do you have any damage reduction, Crystal Chen? Uh, three. Okay, so, so you only take 15 points of damage unless you have a kinetic barrier. I have four. Okay, four, okay. So you only take 11 damage and your, and your kinetic barrier is depleted. 11 damage and your kinetic barrier is depleted. Okay. The other Pijak runs over to Aya. Brawling defense, Aya. Um, six. That's a hit. 20 points of damage. Holy sh... So that's 15 with my damage reduction. And my kinetic barrier is gone as well. Mm -hmm. So I have now... Come on. Uh, teen health left. Darren, what is your brawling defense, by the way? My brawling defense is 11. Okay. Uh, 
the Pijack will hit. The Pijack deals 20 damage to you as well, Darren. Okay, um... So that's 10 damage, so I'm taking 8 this time. These okay. Pijacks hit hella hard for a bunch of yeah. little monkeys. Hmm. Yeah. Suddenly, uh, in another treetop, you hear another sound. It is a another pie jack uh, jumps down, but this one does not look corrupted like the other pie jacks do. And the pie jack uh, 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 seems to be behaving oddly. Uh, it appears to be uh, pointing towards um, one of the pie jacks, the pie jack that is next to Loon, and it seems to have frozen in, in place. If you didn't know any better, you'd say that this pie jack was biotic. I'm sorry, did it just out... did it just stack us and done a better job than I have? Because I have not been able to do anything so far. <laughs> um, I think we're back to the top of the initiative. Uh, which is Darren. So Darren gets to make a second. Uh, that's a 32 to hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, that'll hit. 14 damage. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, Aya, your your other action. I think you had a second action, correct? Uh, that was the act of shooting, I think. Because uh, I just read up on the rules, and uh, taking aim takes an action. Okay. Crystal so, Chen, you're next. I, I still have some movement, so... Oh, I'm, go ahead. Yes, you can move. I have... how much? So, one. There. Okay. Dr. Chen, you're next. Or Crystal Chen, you're next. Can I tell uh, Lun to run and then tackle the... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I... You tell Lun to run. Uh, Speed, Pai Yes, yes. Is, is that <laughs> You can't. This thing is so fast. It needs Akana to cut it, unfortunately. Lun, you're up. Okay, um, I guess I'm going to move so I was told to move. Okay. Um, so go back a little bit, like that. and then I can do a first aid roll. Go ahead. Save. Oh. oh, whoops. Well, that's the matter. I fail. You have your first eighteen, so that should succeed. Yeah, I'm trying to work out now how that works. All right. That's fine. You can figure that out. I will yeah. trust. I will trust you on figuring out how that will work as I move on to the pie jacks. Oh no, the pie jacks already went. Darren, you get your next. Your next. Did you? Or did you already do your second? Uh, I did my second. Yes. All right. Now you have an overkill. Yeah. Battle hit. Damage. Nine. Okay. <laughs> Seems to have absorbed most of that damage. Is that everyone finished their actions for this round? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Back to all right. Back to Darren. How many actions are you taking this round? Um. Same amount. Two plus an action, an extra. I Aya, how many are you taking this round? Two. Okay. Crystal Chen? Just one. Just one? Full reaction. Lun. Okay. Uh, just one for Lun as well. Okay. Darren, you're up first. Okay. Um... That'll hit. Damage. Eighteen. Very nice. 
Very nice. All right, this this uh, creature is bleeding profusely. It looks like it's not gonna take very much for it for you to kill it. Okay. Um, like a feral beast, it desperately tries to maul you again. Uh, that's going to hit. Yes, yeah, it's going to hit. You take 21 damage, Darren. Oh my. Okay, you reduce that by 10. 10. Okay. So you're down to how many hit points? Um, I still owe. Okay, I've got um, 11 hit points. 11 hit points, okay. So you might die next turn. It'll be fine. Aya, you're up. I will just move there to be in range and then I'll take aim at the uh, thing. The big thing? Yeah. Okay. He has partial cover because of Darren's in front of it but you can still aim and try to hit it from where you are. Uh, let's see, if I follow a straight line, he, he, he is not in the way of it. That sounds right, right awkward. Yeah, so I one down Medi Gel on my on me tool. Whenever you're ready, Dark. Okay. All right, well... Oops. 24 is going to hit. Damage. And it's. Nice. Nice. The uh, creature goes down uh, with that hit, Dark. Kill Stealer. Somewhere, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Somewhere, Miha's like, Kill Stealer! <laughs> I will uh, then make a small uh, taunting motion of blowing it a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to add one to your tally. Yes. <laughs> Crystal Chen, you're up next. Uh, just full reaction. Okay, full reaction. Remember the creature right in front of you is on stasis. Mm. It's not moving. Yeah, I cannot move and have full reaction. Okay. Lun, you're next. Um, the uh, this gonna... one, this pie jack is in stasis. This pie jack looks like it's about to go down. I'm going to use um, warp on it. Okay, go ahead and use warp. It's got a check. Uh, whoops, got one in it. Oh, Remember and I even had a wild die on that thing, but oh. that was unnecessary anyway. Twenty-eight. I'm sorry, not twenty-eight. No, no, that's that's on me. 10? 10. Um, let me see. How does it work? I had to move to find all the many gel stuff. It's offensive to defense value, correct? Yeah. It's gonna hit. That'll hit. Roll for damage. It looks like warp deals. Warp deals 1d damage. Um, it also loses 50% of its armor. Yes. So roll 1d. Where is it? That might be enough. I mean, it's hanging on by a thread. Its life is hanging on by a thread, so that might be enough. That's enough. Woo! Kill Seal! You kill. You kill the you killed the pie jack. That's the one I damaged. How does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It's the pie jack's turn. Uh, this pie jack will try this pie jack is just got out of stasis. It's moving now. But um, the other pie jack right next to Darren is going to try to attack him. It doesn't that mean I get my shields back too? For two rounds, right? Two whole rounds. Oh. oh. Two and two. That will hit. Um, Darren, you take... Uh, you take... Six damage. Um, is that... Like, including my damage reduction, or that's it. Your damage reduction is ten, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's six. It's sixteen total. Okay. Six damage. Down okay. to five hit points. I'm doing well. Okay. See, my turn, ma'am. 
Um, the other Pijack is going to um, cast Warp on this one as well. He loses some hit points, and his defense is halved. Now it's back to Darren, I believe. Okay, um, for this action I'm going to recharge my barriers, since I haven't got to utilize before that. Okay. Um, basically it's a moderate stamina, stamina check, so 10 to 15 it says. Um, okay. For every 5 points I beat that by... Um, Next round, Darren, how many actions are you taking? Um, okay, I'm going to charge the guy up here. Okay. So that's my so action. Is that, so that's one action. You're taking one action this whole round. For some reason, right. I'm oh, not seeing this pings. Round. Oh, I get a free shot then. So one one charge. So you're taking one action and an, an extra action. Yeah, but the I haven't had action. my free shot from the last round. Sorry, I didn't. Oh, you haven't done your bonus action yet. Sorry, go do your bonus action. 36 to hit, that'll hit. Who are you attacking? The one next to you? Yeah, let's see if we can get. Okay, 13 damage. Not quite. Not quite. But very close. Okay. Very close. The When you say half the defense, is it half the damage reduction with warp? Um, it just says. Um, warp is about a talent that lowers the armor of the target and increases oh, the damage. Oh, fifty percent of his DR. Yeah, the, of his DR. Yes, because because um, it got halved. You actually killed it, Darren. You actually awesome. killed it with that. Thanks to warp. Thank you. All right. So now the round is over, and we can get to the beginning of the round. The beginning of the next round, Darren. Yeah. There's only one okay. hijack left. So, if you want to... How many actions do you want to take, Darren? I'm going to charge it, shot, and then have my free shot as well. So that's two actions. Aya, how many actions are you going to... Three. So that's three actions. Aya, how many actions are you taking? Um, two. Two? Crystal Chen, how many actions? Two. Two? Loon, how many actions? Um... Yeah. That'll hit. Roll for damage. Um... So you're charging. Oh wait, I didn't get to roll then, sorry. Not roll. I just charged. No, I did charge, um, I just didn't get the additional action. Not yet, okay. So Aya gets to go next. I move there and I aim. Okay. Crystal Chen? Oh. If you're aiming, I just use the shield boost talent. Okay. The stamina check. Okay. Loon? Um, I'm gonna cast another warp on that one there. Go ahead. Roll uh, your attack roll. That will hit. Cool. Damage. Um... Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Every little bit helps. Yeah, I am not the damage dealer. Back to you, Darren. His damage, well, his armor's halved, so that's good. Damage reduction support. is Support. Such support. Okay. So. Now I'll okay. take my shot. Okay. That'll hit. Roll for damage. Eight. Very nice. Barely, barely dead. Barely. So, me? I think so. So that would be... Uh... 23, roll for damage. 26. That's overkill. <laughs> Dark, give us a cinematic of how you slay the final uh, pie jack. As I lift my gun... Aiming down my sights, I see the head of this pie jack as it's trying to jump at our good friend 
there and I pull my trigger and in his face the this monkey face explodes spewing blood everywhere. <laughs> Kill steel. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Character's not impressed with being covered in uh monkey brain. You guys have uh have just finished your combat. Darren might be wiping some of the blood off of him. Yeah. The uh, pie jack that came out from the trees uh, uh, looks at you guys curiously. Little Glenn! Glenn's gonna step forward and be like, a biotic pie jack? That's new. Um, everyone roll a knowledge roll. Anything specific? Knowledge. I would say survival, knowledge, alien species, knowledge. Yeah, that's it. Alien species or knowledge, survival. So take the first one. Sorry, Mike. Whatever is higher. Whatever is the higher of the two. You guys kind of know a little bit about the history of this planet from what I told you again because of what happened thousands of years ago when uh, the two races were battling over this planet uh, their ships ended up spewing out disrupting like rupturing and spewing out element zero which pretty much um, poisoned poison the landscape and that has caused many of the wildlife here to be biotic Over the over the generations. So I, uh, Crystal, relay that information to Lon. Ah, so you too, hey mate, little friend. <laughs> he kind of like kneels down and is just like looking at the little pie jack. The pie jack doesn't seem to be afraid of you. It seems to be very curious, and uh, it uh, it seems to be like trying to decide what to make of you, because you probably guess. It's not used to seeing people like you around here. Indeed. Not used to seeing people like you around these parts. Uh, Crystal wants to pick up some of the um, dead parts of the... Uh... Sure. Yeah. The reaperized yeah. hijacks. And... Yep. Okay. You take a few samples. Um, I'm pretty sure that at some point you have seen other... Um, husk, husk like reaperized uh, creatures like you know human husks and um, the batarian thingies. batarian thingies, yeah. So, but this is a species that you've not familiar with the pijacks and the and the um, the dar the darens, not the darens, the varens, <laughs> the varens, not the daren. <laughs> The Varen was, was attacking Darren, or Darren was attacking the Varen. <laughs> Dunn kind of offers his hand to the Pyjack to see if he'll let him, like, kind of touch it. And... Uh, are you going to pet it, or are you just going to, yeah, are, you poking, are you poking at it, or are you petting out, it? Ready to, like, kind of pet him if he lets it. I think there's, like, an animal handling. Oh god, this is where I'm going to feel awfully. I would say dexterity. I would say that's a dexterity. Oh, no. Just go reach out and grab it. <laughs> Come on, be nice to me, dice. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's, that's not good. That's not bad. That's average. So it, you, it, uh, wild dice, wild dice. Oh, wild dice. Yes. <laughs> roll another. No, roll another six. Roll another d6. Thank you for spotting that, Dark. Yeah. An additional four. Fourteen. Ooh. Yes. So you go ahead and, and, and stroke the, the pie jack down its back, and it, it seems to be, uh, at first it shakes a little bit when you, the moment you touch it, but then as you uh, pet it down its back, it's, it, it seems to like it a lot. It's like, well, this creature's still alive, so I guess the reapers are passing through, maybe. So should we... Should we keep it as a friend, or should we barbecue it now and eat it? We can't eat it! <laughs> also, it's biotic, it might be poisonous to us. The uh, creature then hides behind, 
hides behind Loon <laughs> when he hears <laughs> when he hears what I just said. Loon just kind of gives that. gives Aya like a, a like a look, even though he's wearing a visor, so she can't see it. <laughs> I'm used to quarians. I can see. I can tell when you're looking at me mean. So you can't eat it. Uh, you get a little bit of a, sh a tiny shock, by the way, um, Lun, when the pie jack scurries up your back and on your shoulder. It's like it's like sitting on your shoulder now. I think you like, like it. Like the pie jack like puffs up its chest. <laughs> at least now that it's reached higher ground. It's like tougher, and it's puffing out its chest towards Aya. Yeah, how tall is Lun? Um, he's five foot two. Okay, so I'm still I, I'm like seven inches taller than him. <laughs> he's still trying though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess a little companionship isn't gonna hurt. If nothing, it can do some damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then just kind of grumbles under his breath. We can teach it tricks and we are back. Start a circus, we're great. Be careful about infection. I will. <laughs> the uh, the uh, uh, the pie jack turns towards Crystal Chen and it looks offended. <laughs> 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 I guess we Smart should one this is. We should what are you gonna name the name? Uh, any ideas? John. He shall be named John. <laughs> John. That's so generic. I don't see you coming up with anything. Is it male or female? How how do you tell? Do you want to check? Le lift it up and look on its. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> There you go. Let's, let's, let's kind of see if right, I can. You, you would roll another dexterity check to check. Is it a dexterity check or a perception check? Uh, whichever is higher. Whatever is higher for you. They're I will both say that. the same. Doesn't okay. matter then. Doesn't matter. Try to see if like you can tell by the coat or something. Go ahead. Mm. Perception. Oh, wild okay. dice. Wild dice. Wild dice. Another one. I like Good one. job with the. Go ahead, roll another d6. 15. All right. And we another, another wild dice. <laughs> another wild dice, roll again. Oh, I'm chaining them now. Why can't I do this earlier? <laughs> you should be able to just tap up and that should already, oh. okay. So that's 18 total, all right. Yes, just by studying the creature by visual sight, you actually are able to determine um, that this actually is a male, a male python. Um, I'm thinking of being female, he would have named after his mum, but, um, i trying to think what he could name after, um... If you want, you can determine the name later, and by the next, by the next session. You don't have to he, He's gonna now. name it Lucas. The, uh, he seems to like the name. He Lucas. kind of gives it a pat, and he's just like, can I eat dextro protein food? Um... <laughs> I have a vision, I have a visual of like Darren pulling out, or either Darren or Crystal Chen pouring out something that looks like a Pokedex, and it says, Pie Jack, <laughs> the <laughs> note for this dietary needs of berries and nuts and things. I don't all think so. <laughs> I mean, they, they, they live on, on the Krogan homeworld, so... I yeah, they typically not. are found in the Krogan homeworld, typically. I guess but not, not always. Crystal could take out a little bit of a dextro-based ration, just like snap off a little bit of, of the ration bar and test it with, um, with the pie jack. pie jack. The pie jack tries it. No sign of uh, hmm. allergic reaction. I guess in small doesn't doses. Look like it. I guess we got a new friend for the drip. Woo. No eating it. Aww. And Crystal hands the rest of the bar to Lun. Uh, thank he's you. Your, he's your responsibility now. Uh, I was just like thinking, it's going to die in a week, isn't it? 
<laughs> We're going to use it, use it as our new tank. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, you guys start to. You guys are about to set off of again when when it looks like uh, Lucas's ears perk up, um, and he looks towards um, the direction that you were walking towards. Uh, it gets up on its hind legs on Luan's shoulder, and um, it looks very concerned. It looks very scared. I guess there might be more of those creatures in that direction. He hops off of your shoulder and he starts running towards this direction. Meanwhile, as you guys look on the opposite direction, you see more of the Varen. It looks like they're starting to stampede their way towards you, coming from this direction. That's definitely not good. Yeah, I bet we were Run. away. Yeah. <laughs> you guys run. You guys run back from whence you came, away from where the Varen are running, and you make your way. Fortunately, you're not that far away from your ship. You 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 you, you ran. You run for about five minutes or so, um, and as you are nearing the Normandy, um, something starts ringing in your ears. A very faint ringing in your ears, which starts to get louder and louder. And before you realize what's happening, there's a big flash of yellow light that just that almost blinds you, and you feel kind of nauseous and sick for a moment. But it only lasts a few seconds until finally the yellow flash of light dissipates, and your eyes start to um, adjust. When you look around, what you see is is a yellow portal-looking thing, like an actual opening on the yellow portal-looking thing. And you can see on the other side of the portal, you see the Varen starting to charge through. Um, a couple of the a couple of the Varen managed to get in, and you guys open fire. Um, Fortunately, you were able to take out the two that managed to squeeze in, and the yellow-looking portal closes up. That was not me. That's not a biotic power. Uh, How was that? That was a thing. How peculiar! You hear a voice from behind you. D D Darren, have we? T have you been distributing your drugs to us again? I only did that one time, right? Lynn's gonna look to the voice. How peculiar, you says. You turn around, and there is um, a Solarian behind you in a suit, in a space suit. Uh, his, his helmet um, appears to be its main form of breathing apparatus right now. I'm assuming you guys have like some sort of breathing apparatus on your faces too, because the the air here is not that great, uh, at least for humans, at least. Yeah. It's just, how curious, he says. How did you get here? I did not. Ex uh, he says, I was about to ask you the same thing. However, it seems that the collider worked. The what? Very interesting. Hmm. Problem though. Appears to be other creatures have gone in. He go, walks over to um, to where the um, Varen were. Ah, Reaperized Varen. Very curious, especially since the Reapers have long gone. Why would there still be? Unless, ooh, bad, very bad. Problem. Going to need to find a solution. Thinking. The reapers are gone? I think he hit his head a little too hard. In this reality, yes. Hold up. Which, which reality? This reality, he says. Is yeah. that what I think it is? The creature walks up to the Normandy. In fact, the sh whatever, whatever's happened to you guys, the Normandy is right there as well. 
I have never been able to see this version of the Normandy before. Oh. Who are you? Impressive. Yeah. Our vault lies where the Normandy crashed, so they'd rebuild it. Ah, makes sense. So... I guess in your situation, you would have to need you'd need something to go around if the Reapers are still around. So stealthily. Who, who are you then, sir? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to uh, my manners. Solus, more than Solus. At that point, um, Lun literally just has like a face. It's because, uh, like, he just literally met his hero. <laughs> did, did, didn't you die on Tuchanka? I probably did. What was I doing in Tuchanka? Uh, curing the genophage. <laughs> ah, peculiar. So I guess the other me in your world must have been focusing more on biology. Interesting. I'd like to. S- did I. Managed to cure it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Had to be me. Someone else could have gotten it wrong. <laughs> this is like... Uh, 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 uh. Literally like... Even though he's got the mask on, so you can't even see his mouth moving, but... Breathe. Think. Breathe. Mask face. Okay, I think you need to tell us what the heck's going on since... I suppose you have, are the first main guinea pigs of my new invention, the Reality Collider, he says as he points to a device that he has in his hand. I was running some tests, not really sure if it would actually work, and it seems that I've managed to open a rift into another reality. Unfortunately, it seems to be a reality in which the Reapers are, are still around. Did Shepard and his crew manage to not succeed in um, taking the Reapers out with the Crucible? That's what we've heard. From what we know, Shepard is dead. I'm afraid... I'm afraid the same holds true here. However, the Reapers are still gone. So what, Shepard sacrificed themselves to... in your... whatever? That's what many of us would like to believe. However... Uh, the elusive man would have us believe otherwise. According to him, he was the one who single-handedly saved us from the Reapers by controlling them. You come from a very bad place, it sounds like. It sounds like that makes the two of us. Yeah. yeah. So let me get this straight. In your, in your reality, your alternate reality to galaxy, the Reapers are the Reapers have won, and they are, I'm assuming, exterminating a life all throughout the galaxy. From what we know, I'm very impressed. He says that you've survived this long. That must have been three years, I guess. Three years yeah. since yeah. since then. That's what they tell me. I was out for one of them. I speculate that in the different alternate realities, the flow of time still remains, uh, still flows the same way. So time, as time flows here in this reality, time probably flows in the same rate as yours. Very interesting. Very peculiar. Hmm. Problem is, now that you've gone in here, I sense that the Reapers uh, probably have caught wind of this, of this reality as well. Oh, that's well, bad. That's... Very, very bad. D- d- didn't you already beat the Reapers in your reality? Can't you just do it yes. again? The Reapers, as far as they're concerned on this side of the reality, believe that they have completed their mission. However, and the unfortunate thing, if the Reapers on your side believe that their job is not done yet, if they believe that there are realities, that they failed to complete their duties here, that's what's to stop them from coming into this reality themselves and finishing the job in this world. Oh, uh, that, that, that depends on what they, Well, uh, unless you've built another dimension gate in your... Oh god, this is making my brain hurt. Oh. I'm going to have to run some more tests and studies. It could very well... It's just a theory. Most likely the Reapers won't even be able to find a way into this reality, even if they do uh, discover that these realities exist. However, I need to run some more tests. Why? Uh, I was tired of studying seashells. 
But you must be very close to death now, like... From what we've heard, you were already a fairly old Solarian. That is true. Lifespans of Solarians are very, are very short. However, I'm still kicking, and I decided to spend the last of my days exploring. It's better than, than, um, it's better than hanging around in the Citadel for very long. People who are not humans are not particularly, well, they don't live very, they don't live quite well in the Citadel as humans do, as you can probably imagine. Hmm. That's... Does it mean that you could, you are the cause of a potential problem in your universe? Myself? By coming here. While you are coming here, uh, there might be an issue, yes. Which is why we probably should send you back as quickly as possible. You said that the elusive man controlled the Reapers in your this, whatever this is. They do. The elusive man has been using it to repair everything that's been destroyed in the last three years. So the elusive man is your boss. The elusive man is effectively replaced the council, yes. The elusive man, as you know, has always, as you probably know from your reality, I would think, has always saw humanity as being the most superior race. He has pretty much uh. been making advances to ensure of, that the humans are of the superior race throughout the galaxy. An extremist piece of shit, just like in our world. Did he, I am assuming he did not survive your world. That is good, if that is the case. We do not know. Yeah, we were in the vault before the final battle. The vault? Yes, we have a vault. It, we've lived there for the past three years. Managing to hide huh. from the Reapers. Well, I think we're going to have to take some time to sort everything out. Perhaps we should... Uh, get back on your ship and we can decide on things. The only Mormony I was able to to see with my own eyes is the SR2. Well, it sounds like the Morden over in, in your reality decided to focus his to focus his time studying biology and probably eventually, naturally, look for one of the most uh, notorious diseases that have been threatening the biology biology of an entire race uh, in the galaxy, the Krogan genophage. I, however, he said, decided to focus my studying from a very early age of wormholes, string theories, things of that nature, which eventually led me to creating this invention, the Reality Collider. It was all just a theory that other galaxies existed out there, other realities existed out there. However, you just confirmed it for me. So thank you for that. Glad to be of help. Um, and with that, do you guys have any other questions to ask Morden? Um, uh... Out of character. I don't suppose that we know that Morden was the one who enhanced the genophage in the first place now, well... I think you might have, one of you probably might have heard the rumor that Morden did it. Then that would probably be Chen. Chen might have heard rumors about that, about Morden being the one to cure the genophage. No, but like, uh, Morden enhanced the genophage originally. If you oh, know. the more enhanced... Maybe Chen might have known that too. Probably he would know that. Yes. I'm just really confused right now. I think whatever he's saying, that he is testing this device to get to this reality. But by doing so, he's in danger too, the reality is. Oh, okay, that's, if that's part of the spoiler, then no problem. What he's trying to say is, is the Reapers, so the Reapers, their goal is to destroy um, organic life. At least the organic life that has advanced too much in the galaxy. Because they don't, they don't destroy all, or all organic life. They leave like some of the lesser beings alone so that they can evolve in the next cycle 
and then the Reapers will come back and kill off whoever is advanced enough. Um, but what Morden is trying to say, if the Reapers catch wind of these alternate realities, they're going to believe as machines that their job is not done yet. So in order for them to complete their job, they're now going to have to try to find a way into this other reality so that they can fix what the other Reapers here in this reality did not manage to fix. That's what Morden is worried about. But it's just a theory. But it's the Reapers from our universe back to his, where the Reapers there were controlled. The Reapers here are under control of the elusive man. Because somehow, the elusive man, not Shepard, was the one who saved the galaxy from the Reapers by controlling. In ours? In ours? No, in Morden's. Yeah. In Morden's reality. In your reality, Shepard shot the Crucible kid. In your reality, he chose to shoot the Crucible kid. Oh. That's why the cycle continues where you guys are. So he, shouldn't he be worried that, that the Reapers are going back to his reality? So that's this... this Morden, Morden is theorizing that that's a possibility now. Especially now that the Varen basically just walked in, pretty much moved in on your... Uh, in the portal. By now, I think the Reapers sort of are like a network, just like, much like how the Geth are all connected to each other. I think the Reapers will kind of know now that the Varen have walked into this reality that this place exists and that's what makes Morden worried. So if I were to accuse him of that, is that is that logical? Of of him being at fault for this? Yes, it is. Yes. 